Hello everybody and welcome, ZDS here, bringing you guys a quick little tutorial video. Well, I say quick all the time, but it's probably not going to be very quick, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Anyway, tutorial video, nonetheless, uh, if you can't tell by the title, this is going to be me showing you guys how to use the app PK Hex with Pokemon Emerald, okay? So I did a tutorial about this for Pokemon Gold quite a while ago. Um, I mentioned in that video that I was going to try to do some other ones. Uh, so I've been experimenting for the last couple of months on other Pokemon games, and I decided to figure out how to do a frame. Um, also, I have no idea when this video is coming out, obviously, but this is kind of like a preview of my Let's Play project that I am currently working on uh, that will be coming out after Metroid Prime sequence break has been finished. So, yeah, it's kind of already spoiled. Pokemon Emerald will be the next Let's Play project. I'm most likely going to release this before Prime is finished. I don't know. But anyway, that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see Pokehex on Pokemon Emerald. So, after an hour of, of tinkering and <sighs> recording an entire in-depth video about how to do this and fucking it up, um, let's go ahead and try it again. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to our PK Hex app. And I already have, as you can see, I've already done this several times. Um, we are going to import this save file. And then you see we have there. Um, so I'm going to make this very quick. All I'm going to show you guys how to do is to change a Pokemon to whatever you want. So the way to do this and make it legit is very easy. So, for example, with this Mudkip, I'm going to make it female, and I'm going to make it shiny. As you can see, there's a red hazard symbol that says encounter type PID mismatch. The way you change that is extremely simple. You just change met level from whatever level was that to zero. That's it. And boom, legit. What that means is that the game recognizes now that the Pokemon that you have that you are altering was an egg Pokemon. It doesn't have to come from an actual egg, it just has to have the met level be zero for the game to assume that it was from an egg. This only works with breedable Pokemon. Event exclusive legendaries and area exclusive legendaries and also trade exclusive legendaries have to be done differently. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm only gonna change the nature, you can change whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna change it to a quiet nature. Also that resets the shiny status, so I'm gonna have to reinstate that. I'm going to give it a max a max happiness, throw the lucky egg on it. You can hold any, you can give it any item that can be held. You can also give it Poker Rust, whether it's infected or cured, and you can make it an egg. I already did that, so we're good there. And I'm also going to max out all of her stats. Well, I'm not going to actually max out, like, all of her actual stats to, like, freaking, um, oh, excuse me. I'm not going to max out all of our stats to 255, but I will throw 252 into both offensive stats because I do prefer, you know, since this is Generation 3, I do prefer a mixed sweeping uh, mudkip. I also gave her electric hidden power uh, just in case she comes across any water types she has a problem dealing with. Now, as far as move pool goes, uh, moves that are naturally learnable or teachable or whatever by the Pokemon whether it be through egg moves, through tutor moves, or through TM machines or HMs, will be represented by a green highlighted area and will be at the top of the list. Everything else will be below and will not be highlighted. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her hidden power because I want her to be able to use hidden power electric from the get-go. I'm gonna give her rock tomb because I need that for flying type coverage. I'm also gonna give her surf for a very powerful stab move. Uh, just so you know, Surf does not work in this game as an HM until after you have acquired the 5th Gym Badge. So, just because I have Surf at this part of the game does not make it, it does not break the game, it just means that I can't use Surf yet. Uh, and then finally I will give her Ice Beam, because again, she has a Mixed Sweeper and I do love having Ice Beam on water types. Then all I have to do is very simple, I just have to go right click and then hit Set. So that's actually where we're going to drop it off here. You can also change the items. Uh, change them to whatever you want, add as many as you want within the limits of the of the actual bag. Uh, same thing with Pokedex, you can change the Pokemon that you've encountered and ones that you have not. Box layout, you can do the same thing there, you can change the artwork on it. Trainer info, I usually don't mess with this, but you can also change the gender of the character. 
how much play time they have had and also the amount of money they have and their IDs and even their badges. I don't change the badges because they can't interrupt story progression. Or will actually. Miscellaneous edits, you can uh, increase the BP or coins that you have. Uh, this, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is something for like... Well, I don't know what this first one is, but I know the second one is for, obviously, for berry picking. Uh, fairy means that like you can basically get like to any of these areas... Uh, Battle Frontier, you can affect anything in the Battle Frontier. Um, you can, like, have which ones have a streak and whatnot. Might show that off after I've completed this particular Let's Play. Event Flags, you can simply check any of the boxes that have the Event Flags. And then if the Pokemon or or the uh, if the box is already checked, then it means that you've already gone through the quote-unquote event in said game. If they are not, if they are not then you can select them, which will make it untouchable inside the game, or you can uncheck them if they are, and then it'll make them usable again. This is actually a way that I have tested to be able to literally grind for legendary Pokemon for as many times as you want. Uh, event con event constants, I don't know what this is. I don't fuck with it. It's like a lot of letters and numbers. I leave it alone. Uh, research, same as this. I don't know what this is, so I change. I don't change any of it. And even says right here in big red text, the learning event flags may impact other story events. Save file backups are recommended, so I will leave that the hell alone. <sighs> A lot of breathing. Okay, so clock, pretty simple. This will just change the clock time in the game. I don't exactly know what the fuck it does, but it does something, apparently. Uh, and then roamer, you can change the roaming legendary to be your roaming Pokemon to be any Pokemon in the National Pokedex. Uh, and also change it to whatever Pokemon you want it to be. Mailbox, I don't fuck with this, but apparently you can do something with the mail that I don't know what it's for. Uh, so outside of that, you also have one other thing, which is other, which will affect the Pokemon in your daycare. Um, outside of that, there's nothing else really to see here. You can select any Pokemon from the available list of Pokemon in whatever game you are using PK Hex with, which can be affected from anywhere from red, blue, and yellow, all the way up to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon if you have the ROMs for them which I will be giving a tutorial on how to do it for those games in a separate video. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead to File and hit to Export Save, Export Main. I am going to change the name of this file uh, only because it doesn't need to have the name that it currently has. So I'm just gonna add a 05 to the end of that. Hit Save, and then we'll say it has been exported. So I will then go back to my emulator. Now, if I simply reset the game, it will not load the new file. What I have to do is I have to go back to File and go to Import and then select Battery File. This will pull up... Actually, hold on a minute. I think I screwed up. Let me go back to PKX for a second here. Uh, go back to Export Save because this is actually what I've messed up many times. Right here where it says All Files, click that. Then click Save File. I have screwed that up numerous times. So now we will try it. Go to 05 there. Hit the Save button. I want to replace that. Hit OK, and then go back to the emulator. There we go. So then we will go to File, go to Import, and then Battery File. And we will scroll down to the one we just created, which is right here. Before I do that, however, I'm going to show you that in this particular game at the moment, this is the only Pokemon I have, which is a docile natured male Mudkip. I have no items, I have nothing else important, so it is just him. So, now that you know that, I'll go <laughs> Third time's a charm here, people. I'll go back to that. Head up to this little file right here. It'll say importing a snapshot file to release any saved game and reset this emulator. Do you want to continue? You select yes. It will reset the emulator back to the title screen of whatever game you're playing. So simply select through and bada bing, bada boom, shiny female mudkip with max EVs minus special attack, which only has one EV less than, or max IV, sorry. Five IVs and then 130 IV. And yeah, so she is incredibly strong. She is going to be busting a lot of fucking faces with those moves. I mean, they're the same level, but look at the stat difference. It's unbelievable. Ridiculous. I love it. So yeah, guys, that is how to use the app PK Hex on Pokemon Emerald. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, this is, as I stated before, sort of a preview of my future Let's Play for Pokemon Emeralds, so hopefully you guys get a little bit hyped for that as I'm recording them in the process of the same day of the recording of this one. Uh, so hopefully you guys are excited for when that does eventually come out. I will be announcing on Twitter and on uh, YouTube about when that Let's Play is finished and ready to go. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the channel, links to my Twitter, 
Patreon and my Let's Play channel will be in the description down below, supporting me the ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube for fun one video at a time, and I will check you guys in the next video.